Hello and welcome to our tutorial in coding language with me, Miss Green at Hoyas in Ed. Our tutorial today is how to code an acrostic poem. So you want to do pre-coding work with your students, coming up with a list of words that represent your letters. When you're ready, click the plus sign in Scratch Junior to create your project pages. In this activity, I'm going to focus on creating four project pages with two student characters, Scratch Jr. and Max here, that represents the cousin of Moby and Brain Pop. And you're going to see that I want to introduce and code these two characters so I create a narrative and a story about the acrostic before we create the acrostic. So that's an option for you to expand out the coding language project. So you'll see here that I use several of the trigger blocks from send a message to when character is touched to also the green flag movement. So here I have my scratch cat moving towards Max the robot. And once I touch on Max or I touch on scratch, each one of those characters is going to send a particular message. And once the character receives it, like you see here with our scratch cat, he's going to do some actions and then move towards Max. So they're going to go to class. They're going to go to the next project page. You're going to see that in that red end block right there when the two collide. And once they get into the classroom, I want my students to add a teacher character. And in this case, I've added myself, I've personalized that character from the Scratch Junior Sprites Gallery. And when the teacher has the green flag pressed, she's going to invite not only the students, those Sprite characters in her class, but also she's going to ask a question to the end user of this program about what poetry is. So you can increase the delay to the next project page with the teacher if you want to. But in this cat case, I just kind of have a quick delay to move into the next project page where she describes what an acrostic is. So you're going to see here that she's like, let's talk about coding. Let me ask what po poetry is. And then she's going to move into what an acrostic represents. So it's a great way to introduce students into leading into their acrostic if you want to extend your acrostic coded poem. And here I have two interactives with my two sprite characters. When you touch those two characters in the stage here, they're going to do two actions. When my Miss Green sprite character says, hey, are you ready to code? They're both going to do a turn and have a look block uh, speech bubble say, yeah, we're ready. So when we get to this last and final page, you're going to see that I have the audio go. But before we get there, I just want to show you those two trigger blocks one more time with my two main student characters. And again, that's the delay there that you can increase if you want. It's a nice way for students to troubleshoot and see if they want to increase or decrease delays before they get to this final project page. So at the start here, when I press the green flag, my teacher character is going to give the instructions as to what to do with these different characters, which are the words that you have done in your pre-coding work. So now we're going to use, we're going to use the title and we're going to use the grid view in order to put our capital letters for our acrostic poem on the project stage page. So here, here we do NASA. And this again is just to honor their anniversary year. And on the left hand side, I'm going to use my Apple pencil or my hand, my finger to create in the paint editor, all those worded sprite characters. And in this case, I'm just going to use when touched trigger and movement blocks so that they move to the capitalized letter of the acrostic. 
Now you could also use looks blocks to increase the words. You can have them move and spin. Um, that I'm going to leave up to the creativity of my students, um, but I want to show this example of how you can code just by using movement and the words themselves. Now, once I have coded correctly all the words in my across deck, as you're seeing my grid view work its way to completing that, I also want to make sure that my teacher character, my Scratch Junior, and my Max the Robot character have movements themselves. So I'm going to scroll all the way up here to the top, and I'm going to also have a when touched. So the teacher at the end says that's a great poem, and my two little characters also interact either audio-wise um, or that they have a speech bubble through the looks. So that's an example of coding language through the Scratch Junior application on your iPad device. So again, you wanna do the pre-coding work with your students by asking them what word they wanna code, and then you want to create a wonderful list of words that represent those capital letters in your main acrostic. So here's the final product, and I look forward to seeing what you and your students create with coding language. Thanks for watching, and as always, you can look forward to more coding fun at Hoyas and Ed.